Today, I'll be showing you guys how to get potato graphics in Fortnite. This process is very easy and boosts FPS by 50% and will lower your input delay. Disclaimer, sorry to say, but this process will only work if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. Alright, let's get into the tutorial. So, to get these graphics, we're going to need to go on our browser and search up NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Once you guys searched it up, you are going to want to click the first link right here, GitHub. Then once you're on this page, we're going to want to click the NVIDIA Profile Inspector.zip file right here. As you guys can see right here, I've just downloaded a zip file. Alright, now I'm on my downloads, I'm going to drag the file onto our desktop. Now we can minimize this right here, and this file right here, we're going to want to right-click it, click Extract All, and Extract. Then boom, we have a file right here, which is the file we've just extracted. And we need to double click on this new folder, and right here we'll see the NVIDIA Profile Inspector.exe, and we'd want to open it. Then a command prompt will open up. You guys probably don't see it, but on your screen it'll pop up, and all you want to do is click Yes. And as you guys can see right here, we have the NVIDIA Profile Inspector opened on our PC. Alright, so now that we're in the NVIDIA Profile Inspector settings, we're going to want to change our Fortnite settings, so we need to search up Fortnite on the top left right here. So where I'm going to type in Fortnite, then we want to click enter, and to know if you've done it correctly, you should see fortniteclient.exe right here, highlighted in green. And that's how you know if you did it correctly, and the setting we want to change is the number three setting right here, anti-aliasing. And what we'd want to do is go down to transparency, super sampling, and it should be on off, but we'd want to do is turn it to replay mode all, so it should say a lot of zeros, 8 double A mode replay mode all. So we want to turn that on, then we want to move down to the number 4 option where it says texture filtering and what we'd want to do is go to driver controlled LOD bias right here. And what we want to do is turn this off, then right under that it should say LOD bias DX and OGL. And what we'd want to do is change where it says 0, we'd want to change them to the number 3 and right here we click 3 right there, and then for this one we scroll down a bit, click 3, and that's it. That's the last thing we need to do right here, was this texture filtering quality that we'd want to do is change it to high quality. And that is now all we need to do. Scroll up onto the top right, we will see, apply changes, and we want to click that. And if you guys do feel like you've ever wanted to change back, or you don't like how it looks right here, where it shows the NVIDIA icon right there. When you click it, it will restore to the normal or default NVIDIA settings. So if you ever feel like you want to change it back, click it and then you'll be back to normal. So now let's go see how our game looks after we've applied all of these changes, as you guys. And as you can see right now, the game is looking really different than how it used to look before. The graphics on the character are not loading up that well, but my game is feeling a lot smoother. So let's go in creative and see how the builds look. And as you guys can see, once I load it in, the builds are looking a lot mushier, though my game feels a lot smoother. I personally believe if you are a competitive player, this setting might be more beneficial for you, but if you're like a content creator and play the game more for graphics, well, uh, this setting might not be for you. Let me know in the comments if you guys will keep the setting on, and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial.